Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video, I'm going to show you how to actually embed another table into a table cell in iWork of Pages. To do that, I'm going to show you this is one table, and then there's another table embedded into one of the cell of C1. Right? So to do that, I'm going to add a new page. So what I'm going to do here is here, I'm going to insert a page break. So the second page here, right? So I'm going to add a table of my choice, can be this one. And then I, and then um, probably here, I would like to add another week, another table over here. So let me reduce the number of, yeah, okay. Then I'm going to make it larger. So I want to add a table into here. So normally it's quite intuitive. We thought, that, oh, I click double click here, and then I check the table, but it doesn't appear over here, but it appear up here. So there are actually now two different table. This one here, this one here. There are actually two table. Now it seems like it's a canvas, isn't it? So in order to add this table into here, all you need to do is you click this table, you go to format. You go to format, go to arrange, and then you text wrap, you choose none. Okay, then it's on top of the initial table now. So again, if I were to make it smaller by reducing the column, probably left it only A and B columns, then now it's in here. Then the background color is actually one of the feature in the first original table. So I go to format, go to table, and then you uncheck the alternate row column color. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Now, then it's not done yet. Okay, because why? If you were to drag around. The smaller table does not move with the table, so sometimes it can be quite problematic. You need to group them. So to do that, you click the bigger table, go to Arrange, and then you check Stay on Page, and then you choose Bring Back, Backwards. Okay. Then now, you can click the smaller one, click the bigger one, and then go to arrange and then check group so in the same group now then you can actually easily move it around okay so this is how to add another table into a table cell in iWork of pages if this is your first time watching my video kindly subscribe to my channel appreciate a thumbs up if it's good kindly help me to share it out to help out more people that's all from me. Stay tuned for my next video. Bye.